interesting dog breed facts about the Australian Kulai. It's true that there are many types of dogs. However, not every type has the same characteristics. One of those differentiating features is their size. Some dogs may be very small, while others can grow up to 50 pounds. If you're interested in learning more about this amazing breed, then keep on watching. Australian Kulais are among the largest of all the domesticated breeds in the world today. They weigh between 35 and 65 pounds, 16 to 30 kilograms, with a height of anywhere from 22 to 33 inches. Their head is large compared to other canine breeds, but they still resemble a fox. They generally possess great intelligence. In fact, some people believe that Kulais are actually wolves that have been kept in captivity. And because of this, they have become quite loyal companions. They also have a reputation for being friendly towards humans, especially children. The first recorded appearance of an Australian Kulai was back in the year 1827. These early examples were known as kangaroo hounds. 1. Other types of Australian Kulais If you're looking to buy an authentic Australian Kulai hat, then you should be aware that this type of hat is relatively new. The first Kulais were created in the 1970s, but they weren't popular until the 1980s. Kulais have become a part of Australia's national identity. Many Australians wear them when attending sporting events, concerts, and other outdoor activities. You can also use these hats to help you look like an Aussie. You might even want to consider wearing one while you travel around the country. 2. What are the different styles of the Australian Kulai? There are three main types of the Australian Kulai. The classic style, the wide brimmed, and the flat cap. Classic style. This is the most common kind of Kulai. It is usually worn with a baseball cap underneath. Wide brimmed. These Kulais come in many shapes and sizes. Some of the more popular ones include the round, oval, and square. Flat cap. The flat cap has a low profile. This means that it doesn't cover your ears. 2. Australian Coolies Interesting Facts If you live in Australia, you might be interested in learning more about the history of the Coolies. If you're wondering why the Coolies look the way that they do, here is an article explaining the origins of the term. It all started when a group of farmers decided to start breeding their sheep to have longer wool. When these animals were born, the farmer noticed that one particular animal was much larger than the rest. This animal had a lot of extra hair on its body, and he named this creature after his farm, the Kula. Nowadays, the Kulais are still very popular. You can even visit them at the Royal Melbourne Show. The Kulai is a type of sheep that has a long coat. The length of the wool varies from breed to breed. Some breeds grow up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches, in length. Another thing you should know about the Kulai is that it's not actually an Australian animal. It originated in New Zealand. So, if you want to learn more about this unique animal, then keep watching. 3. The Australian Kulai's Temperament a Kulai is an Australian cattle dog breed that was originally bred to help herding livestock. Today, these dogs are used as pets. If you want to learn more about this dog breed, then like the video. Kuls have a lot of energy and are very active. This means that they need plenty of exercise and stimulation. They also love to be around people and will make great family companions. However, they are generally shy and nervous when meeting new people. If you're looking to get a Kulai puppy, then you should know that they can live for up to 15 years and they weigh anywhere from 20 to 35 pounds. You might want to consider getting a female Kulai because they tend to be calmer than males. If you decide that you would like to own one, then you'll first need to find a breeder who has puppies available. Once you do, you'll need to visit the breeder's home so that you can meet your potential pet. Once you have met the owner, you can ask them questions about the Kuli's temperament and health. You should also look at their lifestyle 
and see whether or not it will work for yours. 4. More Australian Kulais and Their Lifestyle If you want to learn more about how to train your Australian Kulai, then check out the links in the description. This is a guide that explains how they live their lives. The first thing that most people don't know about the Australian Kulais is that they are actually farmers. Many of them are sheep ranchers. However, there are also some who raise cattle. When Australian Kulais work, they wear these hats to protect themselves from the sun. When you look at a picture of an Australian Kulai, you'll notice that they have a hat with a brim. They use this type of hat because they need protection from the sunlight. Another interesting fact is that Australian Kulais don't usually wear shoes. Instead, they wear boots. They believe that wearing shoes would make it harder to feel the ground. The next thing you should know about the Australian Kulais is that they are very proud of where they come from and what they do. They are extremely loyal to Australia, and many of them even consider themselves Australians. They love to spend time outdoors, so they tend to be very active. 5. The Australian Kulis Breed Standard In Australia, the Kulis are considered to be one of the most popular breeds of dog. They can vary in size from small dogs to large, but they all have the same characteristics. Most of them weigh between 25 to 35 pounds, although there are larger examples that can reach up to 50 pounds. Kulais come in various colors including black, white, red, yellow, and blue. There are also some rarer variations of these colors such as cream, tan, and chocolate. These animals are known for their intelligence and ability to learn. This means that they make great companions and can easily adapt to a variety of situations. The main purpose of the Kulai is to serve as a companion animal. However, there are many other uses for this type of pet. For example, they may be used to guard livestock, hunt, or even perform tricks. The best thing about the Kulai is that they are very loyal to their owners. In fact, it's been proven that these pets are much more intelligent than any other breed of dog. If you want to find out more about the Kulai, then check out the links in the description. It will tell you everything that you need to know about training your dog. 6. The Australian Kulis Characteristics Kulais are usually small dogs that have been bred to be very friendly towards humans. This is why you may sometimes find them living in households where there are children around. A Kulai may look cute, but he can also be a little bit dangerous. If you don't know how to care for him properly, then you could end up with an injury. For example, if you leave your dog outside all day long, then you should make sure that you close the door. If you want to learn more about this breed, then you should like the video. The first thing that you need to understand is that a Kulai is a member of the Terrier family. He will most likely bark at strangers who approach his home without permission. You shouldn't let your child near the dog unless they are old enough to control their own emotions. You should also keep an eye on your pet if you live in a rural area. While it's unlikely, there is always the chance that a predator will try to attack him. There are many different breeds of cool eyes, and each one has its unique personality. Some are playful while others are aggressive. 7. The Australian Coolies Health The Australian Coolie is a loyal dog. They are affectionate and intelligent. The Coolie is a strong and courageous dog. If you live in Australia, you may see them in packs. The Kulai can be protective of the family that he lives with. They are friendly to other animals. They are smart enough to understand what you say. They are highly alert to strangers. They have a keen sense of smell. Kulai dogs live a long time. They are known to have a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. These dogs do not have much hair, and they are usually tan and white in color. They weigh about 25 pounds. Some of the breeds of Kulais include the Australian Kulai, the English Kulai, the American Kulai, and the German Kulai. As a dog, the Australian Kulai is a bit slow moving. They usually move at a speed of 4 to 6 miles per hour. 
This dog can be trained to perform tricks. They are generally obedient. The Australian Kuai is a loyal companion. They love to play and will work hard for their owner. 8. The Australian Coolies Care When it comes to caring for your dog, you want to make sure that you take good care of him. If you don't, he could end up with health problems. A lot of people assume that dogs get sick just like humans do. However, this isn't true. Dogs are actually very different from us. For example, when a person gets sick, their body produces antibodies. This means that the immune system can fight off any illnesses. When a dog is sick, however, his body doesn't produce these antibodies. So it's much harder for him to recover. Another thing that makes dogs different from people is that they aren't able to sweat. Sweating helps to cool down the body and keep bacteria away. But a dog simply can't do this. So what does all of this mean? It means that you need to be careful when you're taking care of your dog. You should try to avoid giving him too many vaccines. And you shouldn't feed him anything that contains caffeine or alcohol. In fact, you should also limit the amount of sugar that he eats. Don't forget to check out the links in the description.